Hi, I'm Jake, the Hilux Accessories Development Manager for Toyota Australia. I'm Glenn Gore. I've been four-wheel driving Australia my entire life. And I'm here to find out exactly what goes into the making of Unbreakable. Hi, Jake. So we get a lot of questions regarding accessories and I see there's been some major improvements over the range. So what accessories should I consider for my new Hilux? Yeah, you're right, Glenn. There's a huge range for Hilux and it really comes down to what you want to use the vehicle for. So if you're using it like you guys do in off-road or you know remote locations, you really got to look for a bull bar first. So the bull bar is primarily designed to give you protection from animal strike, but also give you a nice solid mount for your driving lights, CB antennas, communications. And then from there, you'd probably think about more heavy duty type uh, vehicle protection, so your side steps, your side rails, and then also probably your interior protection. So when you're getting in and out of the car a lot, we want to be able to protect the seats and the interior of the vehicle. So we've got interior seat covers and also all weather floor mats that can help you do that. It makes it really easy to clean out as well. Um, a lot of customers also, um, also want a winch. So when you're in remote um, areas, the winch is really great to get you out of a sticky situation when you're bogged with your mates or whatever. So I'm sure you've used those over the years as well. And this one, we've got the traditional um, steel cable and also the new um, synthetic rope. Um, which is nice and easy to use, lightweight, um, really good product. So, um, Also storage, so for customers who buy Hilux, they really love it for the storage, that's why you buy the ute. Um, to give them flexibility there, we've got a lot of products, canopies for nice secure storage, and also hard tonneau covers for maybe your smaller items, and the soft tonneaus, which give you really good flexibility to take things on and off. Towing, so I know you guys do a lot of towing as well, so um, to make the most of the new three and a half tonne towing capacity, you really need a tow bar fitted. Um, so that's another must-have, and you can put the roof racks on there as well if you really want to store stuff up on the roof, out of the way, give you more room for the kids and, and whatever in the back seat there. So. so how are the accessories developed, and what are the differences between buying genuine versus non-genuine? Yeah, that's a really good question, Glenn. So we've got a team of engineers um, working for Toyota in Australia, and we spend um, a long time developing the accessories, so up to five years before vehicle launch. And this is a huge difference between what happened in the aftermarket versus what we can do as Toyota as genuine. So we use that lead time to actually develop the parts together with the engineers in Japan. So the chassis, for example, has to be designed to take the weight of a bull bar or tow three and a half tonne. So it's really important that we beef that up and we design the, the parts to work together as a system. So from our point of view, um, if we have a genuine bull bar, then it's going to be able to um, do exactly what the, the vehicle can do. Um, in terms of durability, safety and all that sort of stuff as well. So in the terms of testing, what separates genuine from the non-genuine or the aftermarket? Yeah, so that lead time allows us to do a heap of durability um, testing. So in Australia, we've got probably the worst conditions, uh, road conditions in the world, or some of. Corrugations, you would have been amongst it out in the outback yeah. there. So to get through that, that, that actually puts a lot of stress and load through the chassis. And when you put a bull bar on the front, it makes those loads even worse. So. And we also use Toyota standards, which are actually a culmination of 80 years of Toyota knowledge in how to design and develop vehicles. And we can actually pump those tests into the accessories and make sure that they pass all the same standards that the vehicle passes in terms of durability and safety. Do you have the ability to crash test a vehicle with the accessories and see how that integrates with the safety systems? Yeah, airbag compliance is a huge one as well, and also ANCAP. So for us, um, we don't just rely on bench tests and this sort of stuff to confirm airbag compatibility. We've got to make sure that we design the, the crash structure to actually collapse at the right rate to make sure your airbags go off at exactly the right time. And we do that through simulation, but also through physically crashing a vehicle. Do non-genuine have the ability to test like that? Um, they could, but it'd be a very expensive test to do. So it's something that um, Toyota with the, I guess the, the larger budget for accessory development and larger volumes, we've really got the capacity to do that sort of testing. So more testing and more safety. Correct. So how should I choose the accessories for my new Hilux? Yeah, there's so much to choose from, but um, I guess I'd probably say again, just to make sure you know exactly how you're going to be using the car before you choose the accessories. And also consider the mass of the accessories that you're installing. So um, every vehicle is going to have limitations in terms of the front and rear axle capacity and also the overall mass you can carry. So adding accessories eats into that payload. So just consider that when you're installing accessories as well. Um, but you can talk to your Toyota dealership, go to the, the Toyota website, there's a heap of information to help choose those accessories. Mm -hmm.